Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church of McGuanagal. Uh, this is recorded for Wednesday, December 23rd. We've come to the seventh and final antif antiphon, um, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Just a reminder, when we started this series, um, if you take uh, the Latin name for each of these seven titles for Christ, and you uh, go backward to first, uh, the first letter of each name um, spells out arrow cross. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow I will come. As we prepare um, to celebrate Christmas over the next few days here at St. John's, um, that is our prayer. Oh, come to us, abide with us, uh, our Lord Emmanuel. I pray that these uh, devotions have been a blessing for you. They've surely um, been a blessing uh, for me. So we will uh, begin um, by recalling our baptism. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Gospel according to Matthew chapter 1. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. The word of the Lord. Emmanuel, God with us. The only Emmanuel who ever was and ever will be, Jesus the Christ. One final Advent call on December 23rd. Emmanuel is coming. And when he appears in glory, he will be the same Emmanuel who came by a virgin, who died on the cross, who rose victorious and ascended on high. Until he returns in glory, there is so much comfort for you in this one name. Does God want to be with me? Does God care about me? The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Does God want to be distant from us? No. God puts flesh and blood on his own dear son to be near us. Does God want to be rid of us? No. He chose to become one of us. Does God care? Yes, enough to call a manger his bed. Does God want to be with us? Emmanuel screams, yes, Emmanuel says it all. One day we will be with him forever. For now, like lonely Israel in exile, we wait. But as we wait, we are not alone, we are never alone. Emmanuel, God with us in baptismal waters, in word and absolution, in body and blood. Emmanuel screams to you, you are not alone, you are never alone. We pray. O Emmanuel, our King and our Lord, the anointed of the nations and their Savior, come and save us, O Lord our God. Thank mm -hmm. you.
apologies, a little editing error there. You get a little bit of the second verse as well. Let us pray. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come. Take away the burden of our sins and make us ready for the celebration of your birth, that we may receive you in joy and serve you always. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be and abide with us all. Amen. Have a blessed Christmas morning prayer. We'll resume again um, on Monday, December 28th.